Good evening. Welcome to our annual Festival of Flags Queen's Pageant. This year's pageant looks a bit different from years in the past due to COVID-19 restrictions, but we're grateful for the opportunity to be, ha to be having the pageant at all. Right now, I'd like to introduce to you two members of our committee who have worked long and hard to make this happen. Right down here in front is Jennifer Hughes. She's operating our Facebook Live feed. Let's give Jennifer a hand. All these young ladies in line is Miss Felicia Walls. Thank you, Felicia. I also want to take just a minute to thank Greg Potter, Madison Township trustee, who has sponsored our festival flights pageant this evening. So thank you very much to Greg Potter. Our judges have spent the afternoon meeting with and interviewing our contestants. And I'd like to introduce our judges to you at this time. Judge number one is Cindy Sexton. Cindy has had the pleasure of combining her passion with her profession. She's been in the beauty industry for over 40 years and is the owner of Main Design Salon and Spa in Galapagos. Acquiring a PhD in hair cutting and a master's in hair coloring, she is the only international and American born certified hair color specialist in our area. She's been perform a performing artist and educator for Paul Mitchell, Redken, and Global Keratin. Traveling across the United States, sharing her knowledge with other salon professionals. In her community, she's the chairman of the board of the French Art Colony, a member of the Historical Society, a member of the Chamber of Commerce, and a member of the Gallipolis River Recreational Festival Pageants Committee. She's a strong believer in giving back to her community. Judging numerous pageants in the tri-state area, she has supported and attended Miss Ohio and Miss USA pageants for several years. In her free time, she enjoys riding motorcycles and play Texas Hold'em. She's a member of the Fellowship of Faith Church. She and her husband have two daughters and one granddaughter, and they reside in Bidwell, Ohio. Welcome, Cindy. Our second judge is Jamie Pratt. Jamie also comes to us from the Gallipolis River Recreational Festival, where she has been the chair of the pageants for the last 22 years. I think that deserves a round of applause in it. <laughs> she has attended numerous Ohio and West Virginia festivals as a pageant judge. She's also watched several of her past contestants by for Miss Ohio and Miss Ohio Team. Jamie holds a master's degree in education, a bachelor's degree in sport and exercise science. She is a licensed nursing home administrator, and by trade, she is a registered and licensed dietitian in Ohio and West Virginia. She currently is employed as a consultant in long-term care facilities throughout Ohio and West Virginia. And in her spare time, she enjoys spending time with her family, and she loves interacting with her many dogs and cats. Welcome, Jamie. Our third judge is Linda Hall. Linda is an active community member from Gallipolis, Ohio. She loves helping and serving others. Linda is a dedicated member of the Cheshire Baptist Church, where she serves on several committees, including the local food bank, which operates each month in Cheshire. Linda is also a board member of the French Art Colony and Performing Arts in Gallipolis, and she volunteers her time at Holzer Medical and for the Inspire Her Girls Leadership Lancaster, Ohio. Linda has attended several beauty pageants, including the Miss America pageant in Atlantic City, and has judged various local competitions in the past. She is a proud grandmother of four, whose passions include travel, hiking, exercising, home decorating, and entertaining. Welcome to Linda. All the 
way at the back of the theater, you'll find our numbers girl, our tabulator, Anita Swan. And thank you, Anita, and thank you, judges, for giving up your time to spend with us the evening. We appreciate it very much. And now I'd like to introduce our 2019 royalty, who will be assisting us with various tours up here at the stage tonight. First up is our 2019 Little Miss, Lola Kazan.
meet each age group individually. We'll start with contestant number one, Cameron Alexia Halen McKay. Cameron is the 18 year old daughter of Aaron and Tammy McKay. Cameron is a senior at Oak Hill High School where she is a member of the Student Council, Vice President of the FFA Chapter. She's in National Honor Society where she serves as the service chairperson. She's also on the varsity basketball and softball teams and serves as the athletic trainer's student aide. Cameron will be attending The Ohio State University this fall, begin her studies in pre-optometry. Her hobbies include riding the HUV, hanging out with family and friends, and going to Michael's Ice Cream for a bubble. Thank you, Cameron. <laughs> Contestant number five, Natalie Renee Krenitz. Natalie is a 17-year-old daughter of Kelly and Josh Butler and the late Chris Krenitz. She's a senior at Oak Hill High School and is currently attending Buckeye Hills Career Center where she is studying cosmetology. Natalie enjoys attending the Oak Hill Church of the Nazarene, being in 4-H, on the Livestock Committee, Youth Representative, the Junior Fair Board, Drug Free America, and Skills USA. In her free time, she enjoys spending time with family and friends, showing cattle, and working on her uncle's dairy farm. Thank you, Natalie. Question <laughs> number seven, Jersey Nicole Dean. Jersey is the 14-year-old daughter of Gary and Brittany Dean. She's an eighth grader at the Oak Hill Middle School, where she maintains an outstanding 4.0 grade average. Her hobbies and interests include taking pride in her schoolwork, being on the all-star competition cheer team, hanging out with family and friends, art, basketball, fishing, shopping, and baking. She's been active in 4-H for five years, taking a dairy market feeder to the fair. In 2019, she won Jackson County overall showmanship. Jersey also loves to learn new things about history. Thank you, Jersey. <laughs> Contestant number eight, Hannah Marie Yeagle. Hannah is a 15-year-old daughter of Christina and Anthony Yeagle. She's a sophomore at Oak Hill High School. In her free time, she loves to spend time with her family and friends, playing with her dog, Riley, doing volunteer work, and she twirls batons for the Eclipse Baton Corps. Her hobbies include reading, bowling, travel, decorating, and doing hair and makeup. She plans to attend the cosmetology program at Buckeye Hills Career Center for the 2021-22 school year, and then on to Marshall University to study veterinary science. Thank you, Anna. Michaela Lynn Lodwick, contestant number 13. Michaela is the 18 year old daughter of Bridget Lodwick. She's a 2020 graduate of Oak Hill High School. While in school, Michaela was a member of the concert choir, drama club, show choir, marching, symphonic, jazz, and pep dance. She was also in the Scioto County Honors Choir her freshman through senior years. Michaela was inducted into the Triumph Music Honor Society and elected president of the choir council during her senior year. Her hobbies include singing, dancing, acting, cooking, and going on adventures to new places. She currently works at the Child Development Center in Jackson and plans to attend the University of Rio Grande for integrated language arts to become a middle and high school language arts teacher. Thank you, Michaela. <laughs> so now let's get to know a little bit about each of these girls. Tamron, contestant number one, would you please take the stage? Uh, it's okay, Lola. Thank you. Good. 
Thank you, girl. Thank you, Lola. Okay, Tamara. As age of the athletic trainer, what are your responsibilities? As the athletic trainer, student aide, I attend all practices and games of our football team and other athletic sporting events. And I assist the trainer in packing ice bags, preparing our equipment to go on the road or take it out to the field ready if there's an emergency needed for us to assist in wound care or anything that the trainer would need in an emergency situation, even if it involves me running to get the squad in a extreme emergency. But most of the time, I just pack ice bags for our athletes and care for their wounds the best I can, and I enjoy doing it. And I'm sure you're very much appreciated. Thanks for doing that. Now tell me about uh, your service in the Honor National Honor Society. You're the service chairperson. Tell me what that's all about. Yes, the service chairperson is the one who helps make the decisions on our community service events. So this year our events included a painting the local sports shop, hosting a canned food drive which raised over 3,000 cans which was a school record for Oak Hill and it goes to help the needy in Oak Hill and we picked up trash throughout our community on all the local streets throughout Oak Hill. That's great. That's great. So now we have the fishbowl question. So Miss Maddie will bring me the fishbowl. You pull out a question and read it and answer it. What is your least favorite chore? My least favorite chore is doing the dishes. I do not like doing the dishes because I'm a member of seven in my family, eight if you include my brother's girlfriend. So there are tons of dishes to do throughout my house and it can get a little messy. So that is why that is my least favorite chore. Okay, thank you very much. Thank Tamara. you. <laughs> Contestant number five, Natalie Renee Krenitz. How are you doing, Natalie? I'm great. How are you? I'm super. <laughs> Tell me about, you are, uh, take part in Skills USA. Tell us about what is involved in that. Skills USA is a part of the trade school that I go to, and it's where we compete in competition throughout the state, and we go and provide and show off the skills that we've learned throughout the year. That's great. And um, you've been in 4-H for quite some time, I understand. Tell us how long. And what do you feel that has been the best achievement that you've had in 4-H? I've been in 4-H for nine years. And the best achievement I've ever gotten was my first year I took my homegrown dairy feeders off of our dairy farm. And I got third overall and top county bread. Um, it took a lot of work, and I was just proud of myself. Well, that's great. Congratulations to you for that. Okay, now for your fishbowl question. Notice we use a real fishbowl. <laughs> what is your favorite movie and why? Um, my favorite movie would probably be the new Spongebob movie that just came out because who wouldn't want to live in a pineapple for one? <laughs> for two, I love Spongebob. And it's just, it makes me laugh. That's great. Thank you so much, Natalie. Thank you. Now, contestant number seven, Miss Jersey Dean, I think, yeah, Jersey Nicole Dean. <laughs> Jersey, uh, you really enjoy history and learning new things. And we talked a little bit about Alexander Hamilton a couple of nights ago, right? <laughs> yes, yes, we and, did. And uh, so tell me, what, what's your favorite recent thing you've learned about our history? My favorite recently learned thing about history probably has to be the American Revolution. It is one of my favorite wars, personally. And I just really enjoy learning about what happened during that certain time period. Mm -hmm. That's good. And um, when you won overall showmanship at the fair, what were the criteria for that award? What did you do to earn that award? 
what I did to earn the award is I researched and studied everything to know about my cow. I remembered to smile and stare at the judge the entire time. <laughs> and honestly, it's just, you know, be, be yourself, have fun. Good. Just like tonight, right? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you very much, Jersey. Thank you. Fish oh, fish ball. Fish ball. Fish ball. Fish ball. The dreaded fish ball. <laughs> I was ready. If you have a pet, tell us about it. And if you don't have a pet, what kind of pet would you like to have? I have a golden doodle at home, and her name is Gypsy. And she is loved by my mother more than me. <laughs> but she's honestly the best dog ever. I love her so much. I have taught her multiple different tricks, and she's just one of my favorite pets. <laughs> That's great. Thank you very much. Contestant number eight, Hannah Marie Yagle. Now we know you have a pet because you talked about your pet on your application. So tell us about your dog, Riley. My dog, Riley, is a little rat terrier to all mix. She's really hyper, but she's just the sweetest little thing. I can just cuddle her all day and she just let me just lay there. She loves to play though. She likes attention all day. Yes. Tell me, uh, you do volunteer work. Tell us for whom you volunteer and what kind of work do you do? I volunteer for Red Door Residential sometimes. It's helping with people with disabilities. Um, last summer, I actually worked with a girl that was disabled, and it was really nice to be around them. Like, she was just so sweet. <laughs> I loved her. Well, good. Well, we appreciate your volunteer work. Now you get to fishbowl. <laughs> what is your favorite restaurant, and what do you order there? My favorite restaurant has got to be Taco Bell <laughs> because I'm just obsessed with tacos. And I usually get a hard taco with chicken in it. Okay, well that sounds good to me. <laughs> Thank you, Hannah. Thank you. And contestant number 13, Michaela Lynn Michaela. You like to cook? Yes, I do. What is your favorite thing to cook? Well, I actually work for Baby Cakes Bakery for about six months, and we really all the time bake baby cakes, and it's where you take a cupcake and you put icing in the middle, and I actually got to bake those all the time, so they were always my favorite. <laughs> What's your favorite flavor baby cake? Definitely vanilla. I'm not a chocolate fan, so. <laughs> well, that's so we can walk really well. You can have the vanilla and I'll have the chocolate. Yep. Okay, tell us the furthest place you've traveled from your home and what kind of an adventure do you have? did you have and what did you see? The furthest place I've traveled from home was actually Disney. I went with the band and choir and I got to see the ocean there and it was the first time I ever got to see the ocean. So when I looked out the bus window and I seen that ocean, my face just lit up and all my friends were like, Kayla, it's the ocean. And I was like, I know, I see it. <laughs> well, those are always fun and exciting trips. Yes. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you very much, Michaela. Join me now. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's fishbowl. <laughs> Says, what's your favorite time of year? My favorite time of year is summer. I, when I was in high school, I got summers off, but now that I work and I'm an adult, I don't get that off. But it's still nice to enjoy the nice weather and just hang out with friends when I do have the weekend off. <laughs> well, I'm glad we didn't miss that fishbowl question. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Each of our contestants is going to present to you the introduction that they would give when they travel to other festivals uh, should they win their, uh, their age group tonight. So we'll start off again with contestant number one. 
Cameron. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tamara McCain, and I'm contestant number one for Miss Festival of Flags. Our festival is located 45 minutes south of Chillicothe and is held over Memorial Day weekend. Activities include a pretty baby contest, karaoke, a grand parade, first class entertainment, and it's all topped off with our Memorial Day car show. Come help us celebrate true American values with current and past residents of Oak Hill. I hope to see you all over Memorial Day weekend. And now, contestant number five, Natalie Renee Kranitz, will give us her introductory speech. Hello everyone, I'm contestant number five, Natalie Kranitz, for the title of the 2021 Miss Festival of Flags. Our festival is located in Oak Hill, Ohio, annually on Memorial Weekend. The festival was established when a group of outstanding citizens wanted to preserve the historical Central School Building in 1992. When you come to visit the festival, you will observe over 2,000 American flags throughout our gorgeous village. At our festival, you will enjoy the entertainment, parade, and wonderful food. I can't wait to see you there. weekend where the food is yummy, the entertainment is outstanding, and the community is very friendly. I hope to see you all there. Contestant number eight, Anna Marie Yagle. Hello everyone, my name is Hannah Yagle and I'm a contestant for the Festival of Flags Teen Miss. The Festival of Flags is located on the south, southeastern side of Jackson County. It is held during Memorial Day weekend, and I would like to invite you all to the activities that we have. It starts with the Pretty Baby Contest, and then we cannot forget the food. Thank you all, and I hope to see everyone there. Hey everyone, I'm Michaela Lodrick and I'm running for your 2021 Festival Flags Queen. The Festival Flags is held every Memorial Day weekend right here in southeastern Jackson County. The festival is full of fun events such as games, rides, craft shows, food, free entertainment, a car show, and the Grand Parade. I really hope to see you there this year. Thank you. They're vying for the title of Junior Miss. First is contestant number four, Madison Ray Getty. Madison is a 12-year-old daughter of Aaron and Mark Kales and the late Matt Getty. She is a sixth grader at the Oak Hill Middle School. Her interests are motocross, dirt track ride racing, riding her side by side, swimming, and spending time with her family. Maddie hopes to be a dental hygienist one day. Thank you, Maddie. <laughs> Number six, Kiara Bell Arrington. is a nine-year-old daughter of Joanna Miller and Bernard Arrington, Jr. She attends Oak Hill Elementary, where she's in second grade. She has two older brothers and two sisters. She enjoys dancing and singing. Kiara is a Girl Scout and loves to spend time with her family. Thank you, Kiara. <laughs> Contestant number 11, Ameribi Alisan McCain. She is an 11-year-old daughter of Erin and Tammy McCain. She's in the sixth grade at Oak Hill Middle School. She participates in softball, basketball, volleyball, and will be a junior high cheerleader in the fall. 
Her hobbies include spending time with her family, going to King's Island, and HUV riding. Thank you, Amerity. And contestant number 15, Bailey Page Antonero. Bailey is the 11 year old daughter of Peggy Mullen. She's in the fifth grade at Oak Hill Elementary. She enjoys reading, skating, spending time with her friends, helping fill boxes at the churches with food items for those in need, dancing, playing with her ferrets, playing basketball, and riding her bike. Thank you, Bailey. Now we'll do questions and fishbowl questions, okay? First up, Madison Ray Day, would you take the microphone, please? <laughs> Maddie, do you or someone in your family race motocross, or do you just like watching it? Yes, me and my stepdad both race motocross. You do race then, huh, right? Yeah. Good. And what is your favorite subject at school? And tell us why you like that one particularly. My favorite subject would probably have to be gym because I like to play basketball. Okay. Here comes the fishbowl. Right? Yes. What is your, what is your favorite vegetable? I really don't eat vegetables, so I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just perfectly okay. And thank you very much, Madam. <laughs> <laughs> right, number six, Kiara Bell Arrington. Kiara, what is your favorite game to play? Tag is a good one. You play that with your brothers and sisters? Yes. Well, that's a great thing to do with your family. And when you spend other time with your family, what kind of things do you like to do? Do you have picnics? Do you go on outings? Do you go fishing? We go fishing. You do go fishing. Do you fish at Jackson Lake? Yes. Yeah. And uh, tell me about, do you bait your own hook? No. <laughs> <laughs> that took a minute, didn't it? Okay, let's see what we have in a fishbowl question for you. They're kind of hard to see. Shall I read it for you? Okay. Let me see what this says. It says, what is your favorite dessert? Cake. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of cake? Chocolate? Vanilla? Chocolate. Chocolate is my favorite too. Thank you very much, Karen. <laughs> Contestant number 11. Ameribi Alisanne McKay. I think I said it right tonight, did I, Mary? Yes. <laughs> Amerby, tell us, what is your favorite ride at King's Island? My favorite ride is Orion. It is the newest and it is the tallest and fastest ride at there. Sounds scary to me, but I'm a coward. So. <laughs> I see you like to play several different sports. Which one do you like best of all? Which is your favorite? My favorite to play is softball. And your sister, you and your sister both are softball players, right? Yes, we are. That's good for you. Okay, now let's do that fishball. What is your favorite book and why do you like it the best? My favorite book is probably the Harry Potter series because it took a long time to read for me and I just think it's put together very well. That sounds great. Thank you very much. <laughs> and contestant number 15, Bailey Page and Tonera. 
Bailey, you have ferrets, and I know maybe a lot of people don't know much about ferrets, so tell us about your ferrets. I have three ferrets. Their names are Zeke, Zori, and Zoe, and I've had two of them since I was five years old and one of them since I was seven. Um, they do sleep for 22 hours a day, and they only play for about two hours, and usually you can find them sleeping in, like, drawers or, like, bags, and it's really so cute. So they hide, they hide from you a lot, then? Yes, they do. They do like to hide. Well, that is an interesting, interesting pet to have. Um, and tell me, when you, uh, when you fill the, church, the boxes at your church, is it your church, or do you go to other churches and help also? I go to other churches to help, too. Okay, and um, tell me about the, uh, the kind of food things that you supply in those boxes. We put things like canned soup, ramen noodles, and some sweet things for little kids that want sweet food. <laughs> okay, well that all sounds wonderful. Thank you for doing that, and thank you very much. <laughs> what is the most thing, fun thing you do with your family? The most fun thing I have done with my family is when I was about seven years old, me, my mom, my brother, and my stepdad had a Nerf gun war in the living room of the kitchen. It was amazing. Okay, great. Thank you very much. And now we'll hear, hear each of the Junior Miss contestants present their introductory speech. So we'll start that, if we could, with number four, Maddie. Hi, I'm Madison Nettie. I'm the Junior Miss contestant. And I hope to see you at the Festival 5 for all the fun on Memorial Day weekend. And Kiara Bell Arrington, number 6. My name is Kiara Bell and I'm running for Junior Miss Festival 5 Memorial Day weekend. Hope to see you there. you to the Festo of Flags over Memorial Day weekend, where we have delicious food, rides, and great entertainment. I hope to see you all there. Thank you. Contestant number 15, Bailey, Paige, and Tanera. Hello and good evening, everyone. I am Bailey and Tanera, 2021 Junior Miss Festival of Flags contestant. I hope to see you all there at the festival on Memorial Day weekend that is held annually. The festival originated in 1993 to help preserve the school building, and ever since, it has been known as the Festival of Flags that we honor and cherish today. Thank you, and I hope to see you there for the fun and entertainment. Okay, judges, are you ready for the next category? We'll have our little Miss contestants now, starting with contestant number three, Savannah Jade Maynard. Savannah is the eight-year-old daughter of Ben Maynard, Don Dunaway, and stepfather, T.R. Rollins. She attends Girl Scouts, plays soccer, and is a cheerleader. She likes to read, fish, hunt, and play with animals. Savannah also likes to play with her siblings and jump on the trampoline. She wants to be a firefighter when she grows up. Thank you, Savannah. Contestant number nine, Emma Rose Miller. Emma is a seven-year-old daughter of Amanda and Brad Miller. She's in the first grade at Oak Hill Elementary. She likes to play softball, paint her nails, curl her hair, put on makeup, and play with her siblings. Emma loves to pretend to take care of a real baby. She loves to play with her friends. Thank you, Emma. Contestant <laughs> number 10, Riley Gabrielle Harper. Riley is a seven-year-old daughter of TJ and Tyranny Harper. 
She is a first grader at the Oak Hill Elementary School. Riley's hobbies include gymnastics, playing softball, cheerleading, swimming, coloring, playing with her friends, and just being silly. Thank you, Riley. Contestant <laughs> number 12, Lydia Dawn Strickler. Lydia is a six-year-old daughter of Taylor and Levi Strickler. She has two little brothers. She is in first grade at Oak Hill Elementary School. Lydia enjoys ballet, arts and crafts, singing, and reading. Thank you, Lydia. <laughs> Aliyah Hewitt. Aliyah is a seven-year-old daughter of Yvonne and Stephen Ewing Jr. She attends the Oak Hill Elementary School, where she's in first grade. She has one older brother. She enjoys gymnastics, dancing, singing, camping, and spending time with her family. Thank you, Aliyah. So now let's talk to each contestant individually. We'll start with Savannah. Contestant number three. Savannah, what made you decide you wanted to be a firefighter when you grow up? What made me decide to be a firefighter is that I want to help and save lives. That sounds good to me. And uh, you like to read, among many other things. What's your favorite kind of book to read? My favorite kind of book is Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Dr. Seuss, do you have a favorite Dr. Seuss book? My favorite Dr. Seuss book is Green Eggs and Ham. That's my favorite too. Thank you very much. Now we'll get your fishbowl questions. What is the... Let me read it for you. Their, their typing is kind of small and it's a little hard to see up here. Okay, this says, what is the scariest thing you have ever done? The scariest thing I've ever done is I was at my cousin's on a trampoline. We was jumping and my cousin tried to help me do a back handspring on the trampoline. I was so scared. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds pretty scary to me. Thank you very much, Savannah. Contestant <laughs> number nine, Emma Rose Miller. Emma, you like to paint your nails. What is your favorite color to paint your nails? And tell me why. I like blue because it's the color of the ocean. Well, that's a good reason why. And how many brothers and sisters have you? I have three brothers and one sister. That's a nice big family. And do you all play together well? Yes. You do. Okay, let's get your fishbowl question and see what we can come up with for you tonight. Shall I read it for you? I would love to. Thank you. Okay, it says, if you could only have one kind of sandwich for the rest of your life, what kind of sandwich would you like? Bologna. <laughs> Good choice. Okay, thank you, Emma. Contestant number 10, Riley Gabriel Harper. Riley, um, you take gymnastics? Yes. Okay, tell me about some of the things that you do in your gymnastics class. We do back handsprings and we do back walkovers and we do front walkovers. 
And we do all kinds of twists and flips. Do you do those walkovers on a balance beam yet, or are you still on the floor? Still on the mats. Oh, well, that, that's, that's good. That's a safe place to be. <laughs> It also says on your application that you like to swim. Yes. You have your own pool? Yes. And do you swim every day in the summertime? Almost every day. Well, that's a good thing to do. Now we're going to get a fishbowl question for you, and I'll be happy to read it for you if you like. Where do you like to go on family this is family outings, huh? Family vacation. Outings? <laughs> mm. Maybe to an amusement park or somewhere like that? To Tennessee. <laughs> Tennessee. <laughs> Great place to visit. Okay, thank you very much, Riley. <laughs> Next up is Lydia Dawn Strickland, contestant number 12. Hey, Lydia. Your application says you like to do arts and crafts. What kind of crafts do you enjoy doing? Maybe do you like making paper crafts, cutting out cutouts and that kind of thing? What did, did you tell us that? Well, let's try another question. You take ballet classes, right? What's the name of your ballet teacher? Miss Tamara. And have you been seeing her for quite some time for your lessons? Yes. And uh, do you do pirouettes and plies? You do? Well, that's good. You're making good progress already then, right? Okay, let's see if we can find a fishbowl question for you. Describe your favorite outfit. Is your favorite outfit a dress? It is. What color is it? Rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds great. And is that your favorite one, then? Good for you. Okay, thank you very much, Lydia. <laughs> and Aaliyah Ewing, contestant number 14. Aaliyah likes to sing. She says so on her application. So what kind of songs do you like to sing best, Aaliyah? Um, dance monkey. <laughs> and uh, you like to go camping? Yes. And do you, do you camp in a tent? I camp in a camper. In a camper, so you have, I bet you have all the electricity and everything, right? Yeah. Well, that's good. It's a good way to get away for a few days, huh? Yeah. That's really great to hear. Now we're going to get a fishbowl question for you, Aaliyah. Color eggs? Um, 
Yes. Anything else you'd like to say about Easter? Um, get eggs. <laughs> okay, great. Well, thank you very much. Okay, now each little miss is going to present for you their introduction that they would give should they uh, get the position of a little miss and be visiting another festival. Starting with contestant number three. The Festival of Rides is held over Memorial Day weekend. We have food, treats, and fun things. I hope to see you there. Thank you very much, Savannah. And next is Emma Rose Miller. You're going to start by just telling us your name, Emma. My name is Emma Rose Miller. And then you're going to tell us a little bit about the festival, huh? Remember, it's on Memorial Day weekend? It's on Memorial Day weekend. All right, and we'll have lots of good food and lots of fun, right? Yes. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Emma. Number 10, Riley Gabrielle Harper. Hi, my name is Riley Gabrielle Harper. And you're hoping to be the Little Miss Festival of Flags, right? And I'm hoping to be the Little Miss Festival of Flags. So you'd like everybody to come to our festival, wouldn't you? Yes. Well, good. We'll tell them when it is. More Memorial Day weekend. There you go. Good girl. Thank you very much. <laughs> we got low on the job. <laughs> Festival of Flags. Yes. And tell us when it is. When is that festival? Um, Memorial Day weekend. Here you go. Okay. Thank you, Lydia. <laughs> and number 14, Aaliyah Ewing.
Okay, at this time, um, we're going to hear from our 2019 Queens as they offer up their goodbye speeches. And we'll start with our 2019 Little Miss, Miss Lola Gazzard. My name is Laura Kazad, and I am the 2019 Little Miss Festival of Flags. When I remember my year as Little Miss, there are so many fun times to think about. Starting with our Festival of Flags, my big sisters, Maddie, Des, Alex, all treated me like one of their sisters. I am just so blessed that I got to spend a whole year with them. I had a great time with Chris and Felicia. There were, they were like my second parents on our adventures. My favorite festival was the Strawberry Festival, and I loved their festival charm too. The Jingle Bell Festival was fun, even though the weather was crazy. But we still loved it. I will miss being on the court, but I am very excited for another girl like me to have a chance to be a little miss. Thank you for this opportunity. I will remember it always, and for the last time, I am the 2019 Little Miss Festival of Flags. Thank you. And now our 2019 Teen Miss, Alexandra Johnson. Sometimes you'll never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Dr. Seuss. May 2019, I embarked on my journey as Team Miss Festival of Flags. The night I was crowned, I was so excited. I slept very little with the anticipation to get up and to get ready to put my crown on again. I'm so glad my dad and mom had me view my crown slash, not a surprise, but an opportunity. An opportunity to represent Oak Hill, to serve, and to grow into the best version of myself. I am thankful to God, my family, friends, and the festival for pushing me to exceed that opportunity as a person. Thank you to my parents and siblings for going the extra mile, literally. You never complained about attending the parades in any weather. You showed up, waved, and cheered me on as I passed by. You truly made me feel royal at every event. Dad, you always give such wisdom and encouragement and remind me of my beauty inside and out daily. To have you be the honored veteran at a couple events and escort me will always be a cherished memory in my heart. Mom, words will never be able to repay you for the amount of sleep you lost and work you've done behind the scenes. From using Pinterest to make sure my hair was beautiful with a crown on, to taking pictures even when I didn't want another to capture every moment on this journey, to packing for long day events and even having me straighten my dresses before going on stage. Above all else, thank you for standing by me and encouraging me to step out and push myself to be the best. Thank you to my fellow court, Maddie, Desiree, and Lola for the memories of each festival that we made. The amount of laughs, crazy games, dances, singing too loud, and most of all, encouragement will never be able to fully be put into words. Representing Oak Hill with you three was absolutely priceless. I will always cherish the behind the scenes adventures, getting dressed, fixing crowns, and encouraging each other in my heart. To Joyce, Jennifer, Kenny, Charlie, Felicia, and Chris, and every single person that works hard behind the scenes to make this festival flags what it is, including all the sponsors here in the village of Oak Hill as well, your investment in my life and our village will never go unnoticed. During my reign, I got to travel all over the beautiful state, loving every minute. I was such an honor to travel to different festivals, going to lunches, teas, meetings, and royals, meeting the royalty, and then seeing the pride that each one had for their hometown was humbling. My mom has always said it takes a village to raise a child. The participating people in the parades, I got to see firsthand that communities coming out to support and encourage the royalty and the festivals was truly a big family feel. I'm so grateful for the opportunity I was entrusted and the friendships and the lessons learned along the way. To the next Team Miss Festival of Flags, you are chosen for a reason and you will be handed the opportunity that I had to represent our village in Oak Hill with pride. You will be given the opportunity to carry a piece of our village all over the state and make good friends and become a part of such a huge family that will last forever in your heart. Best of luck and truly don't blink because the time goes by so fast. Enjoy every moment. As I am approaching the close of my time, serving as your team Miss Festival of Flags, I am filled with such honor, joy, and a little bit of sadness. Even though the time has flown by, I will cherish the memories made and, most importantly, opportunities shared. Without God, none of this would have been possible for me. Thank you, and for the very last time, I'm the 2019-2020 Festival of Flags team Miss Alexandria Johnson. Our 
most attended, Desiree Sharp. Even with our extra year together, I never fully prepared myself for this moment. Being the 2019 Festival Flags Miss Attendant gave me plenty of memories along with life lessons. While attending other festivals, I had an amazing experience of bonding with my court as well as meeting new courts. Memories like making sure Maddie got her bourbon chicken to making sure Lola had her crown on straight, because let's be honest, it never was, will hold a special place in my heart. With all this being said, I would like to give my thanks to all those who made my reign worthwhile. To Felicia and Chris. Thank you both for dealing with us during our time together, making sure we were all at the festivals on time and providing the best year we could have had. From the moments of Lola bullying Chris to asking a stranger on the block if we could use their restroom during a parade, I will hold these memories forever. You guys are not only a chaperone, but you also treat us like your own. Chris, thank you for always being there to make us laugh and helping me with my 4-H goats. Felicia, Thank you for always being sure that we were comfortable on and off of the float and doing your best to make us look presentable. I know your years with us were your first, but you could not have given us a better time. I hope all your future years with Festival Flags will continue to be great. To my mom and sister, thank you for being at every parade possible to cheer me on as I pass by. It always became a goal to spot you guys in the crowd before you saw me. I couldn't have done this without your support. You guys have forever and always will be my biggest fans no matter what I do and I can never express how much you mean to me. I love you guys. Now for my court, to my little Miss Lola, you are truly a firecracker waiting to set off and no one will ever be able to get in your way. Your feistiness was always able to make us laugh and I loved every moment with you. When you would run up to me for a hug or demand to hold my hand at every festival, I felt so much love and will forever appreciate those little moments. Your future is so bright, little Lo, and I cannot wait to see where you go from here. To my team Miss Alex, thank you for all the memories and good times we shared. I will never forget the pure chaos we went through to help chaperone the fundraiser dances. I appreciate the positive attitude and all the life lessons you've taught me. I will always admire how your family was continuously willing to step up for festival responsibilities and tease when needed. I wish you all the luck in college as well as life beyond that. Lastly, but definitely not least, to my queen, Maddie. No amount of words will ever explain the love I hold for you in my heart. To stand here and try to list all the favorite moments I had with you, I will be talking forever. Since our first day of pageant practice, I knew I found my twin flame and that we would be hooked simply because we were the only ones able to break dance to Over the Rainbow, and we have done nothing but become closer and closer. I will forever cherish the moments and the memories and all the laughs we shared. You and your family treated me like your own, and I felt nothing but love and support. As my best friend moves across the country to bigger and better things, and I cannot wait to see where you go in life. I already know it will be great. Thank you for everything you have ever done for me, and never forget that I will always just be a phone call away. We will all be pursuing our futures and moving on from each other, but I will forever be here for you all if I am ever needed. I can never fully repay you all for what you have added to my life. Being part of the 2019 Festival Flags Court will forever hold a special place in my heart, and I will always cherish the moments of being able to represent my village. I am eternally thankful for the amazing two years together. For the last time, I am and forever will be your 2019 Festival Flags Miss Attendant. May 23rd, 2019, I showed up to Oak Hill High School in what we describe as casual business attire, toting my favorite red dress and an all-white jumpsuit. I practiced so long and was still so nervous. This long journey began that night and I had no idea it would be two years later that I say goodbye to my reign. Though it may seem that because of the pandemic there are a lot of things to be upset about regarding what we missed or didn't get to do, I'm thankful. We got to experience so much before we weren't able to anymore and I'll be forever grateful. Just like everyone else, I have a few people I need to thank. First, I'd like to thank Charlie and Kenny. You guys always made sure we looked our best and were absolute problem solvers. Members of the committee, like Jennifer and Joyce, always being there to lend a hand when one was needed. And of course, my chaperones, Chris and Felicia. Carrying three teenage girls in Lola had to be a task within itself, let alone the pictures, fair food, and making sure we look presentable. A big thank you to the other court members' parents. Thank you, Amanda, for driving us to a pageant and taking lots of pictures. Thank you, Robin, for being there to support us and setting up the donut fundraiser. A huge thank you to Debbie for basically becoming my second mom. Always so quiet, but a mama bear when she needs to be. You're so supportive, and I'm grateful to know you. I would like to thank Miranda Haggerty for doing my makeup the night of the pageant. You made me feel beautiful. 
Sarah Ray for doing my hair and dealing with how picky I am. You've become someone I look up to. Thank you for being so kind. And of course, I need to thank my court, Lola. Thank you so much for bringing your upbeat attitude and spunk to every event. You make the rainy days a little sunnier. Watching you grow up these past two years has been an awesome journey. Love you, little Miss Lowe. Alex, thank you for being so kind and patient with Lola and always being the first person to offer help, whether it be setting up a fundraiser or fixing someone's dress, you were always right there. And Desiree, we clicked at the practices and I hoped if I had won, you would be on court with me. It really was a wish come true. I have found a forever friend and I don't even know how to put into words how blessed I am to have you as my first attendant. We are so alike, it's almost scary. Thank you so much for putting up with me for these last two years. Finally, I'd like to thank my family. Lexi, thank you for always believing in me. I wouldn't be on the stage right now if it wasn't for you. You are my partner in crime for life. Thank you to my brother, sister-in-law, cousins, sister, nieces, and nephews for coming to the events and waving at me on the float. You are my own personal little fan club. Thank you, Dad, for putting up the queen issues like, I forgot my charm bracelet or we're going to be late. You're a trooper. Last but certainly not least, I want to thank my mom. Thank you for being my number one fan. You're the reason that I have the confidence to stand here today. I could never properly thank you for everything, and it would honestly take me too long to even talk about. Just know that I thank my lucky stars for you. I leave you some advice for the new queen. Your court is your family. Want the best for them so they can want the best for you. And get bourbon chicken at every festival. <laughs> thank you all so much for coming and supporting us over the last two years. My name is Madison Porter, and I am and forever will be your 2019 Miss Festival of Flags. We had one to uh, spend a couple of minutes down just talking to you about the festival in general. So, a little history and a little about. First of all, the festival began in 1993. One year prior to that, a group of Oak Hill citizens formed a committee to save the Central School Building. The idea for the festival was pitched to that committee by local Dan Brisker, and the committee enthusiastically accepted that challenge. They held the first Festival of Flags in 1993 on the grounds of the Central School Building. Unfortunately, their work to save that building faced an uphill battle and eventually the school was demolished, but the festival has continued, and after a few years, moved to its current location at Etna Park. The 2021 Oak Hill Festival of Flags celebrates its 28th year. The central school grounds are now a beautiful central park, thanks in uh, great part to your local chamber of commerce. For the first time since 1993, the festival could not be held last year due to COVID-19 restrictions, but as the situation has improved, we're excited to be holding festival number 28, beginning on May 28th and ending on Memorial Day, May 31st with our annual car show. There will still be some COVID restrictions in place and we'll ask that you practice social distancing Stay within your group, wear a mask when appropriate, and just do your best to follow the guidelines in effect as of the end of the month. Our festival is a member of the Ohio Festivals and Events Association, and you can find information about our festival and all the other affiliated uh, festivals on their website. That's OFEA.org. Being the generous community that it is, Residents and businesses in the Oak Hill area have, for the second year, made it possible for us to provide free ride passes for one day to each child in the elementary school. That's more than 600 children. We are overwhelmed by the generosity that, that people show, particularly when it's for the children of the community. For additional days of rides, we'll have a, uh, we will have uh, pre-sale ride passes available, and you can also buy a ride pass at the festival in the rides area. And this year at the festival, we'll be introducing some new uh, entertainment acts to the community. We're looking forward to welcoming Wanted, the Bon Jovi tribute band, on Friday night. 
And on Saturday night, we have Presley and Taylor, two beautiful sisters who are really an up and coming uh, team on the Country Music Festival in Nashville. On Sunday evening, we'll feature local favorites, the Red Brush Band and Bart and the Chasers. Saturday, you know, is Kids Day. So there are a number of events that are designed especially for the younger children. At 9 a.m., the Madison Jefferson Fire Department, firefighters, sponsors a free fishing tournament at Jackson Lake. Then we have our pretty baby contest later in the morning and free pedal tractor pull start at 1 p.m. You check the schedule for times of registration for those events. The community church service on Sunday has become an annual tradition and you're all invited to join us at 11 o'clock on Sunday morning for a great church service. We combine several of the churches in Oak Hill and uh, they get together and we do a really great service. This year, the sermon will be provided by Reverend Dr. Pat King, former pastor of the St. Paul and Faith United Methodist Churches here in Oak Hill. And we look forward to having Reverend King back with us. You can find a full schedule of events on our website, oakhillfestivaloflags.org, on our Facebook page, and on the back of your program. It will also be published in the local newspapers. Also on our website, and almost more importantly, you'll find a list of our sponsors. Please look over that list, and when you happen to be in the business of one of our sponsors, or you just see them out and about in the community, thank them for our support, for their support of our festival. This could not happen without them. And we hope to continue the tradition of holding our pageant at the school next year, so there'll be room for a few more people with a few less restrictions, we hope. We thank Brian Moore for all his help here this evening and the Oak Hill Historical Society for the use of their lovely Liberty Theater. As COVID restrictions continue to lessen, the festival committee looks forward to resuming some of our favorite activities throughout the year. For example, the holiday themed dances that we do for the elementary students. They're so well received and I think the committee enjoys doing them as much as the children enjoy attending them. So we'll keep you informed through social media, and local newspaper, and radio announcements about those events as conditions allow. Each year, we choose a group or a person to honor as a ceremonial leader of our grand parade on Sunday. This year, we honor a couple who celebrate their 50th year in business in Oak Hill. They have supported the festival, the schools, and most all other events in the village. This year's Grand Marshals are Gary and Brenda Lunsford. Our sincere congratulations to them on their 50th anniversary in business, and our grateful thanks to them for their continuing support of our community. Now, now we have some awards to present to our contestants. The first award this evening is the Mildred Bangert Community Service Award. Each year we present this award to one of our contestants. It is sponsored by the Oak Hill Chamber of Commerce in recognition of Mrs. Bangert's many years of service to the Chamber. Mildred retired from teaching in the Oak Hill School District. She was a member of St. Paul Methodist Church and where uh, she sang in the choir, was its director for a time, and taught Sunday school. She also wrote columns about our village and its people in Jackson County Times Journal and the Jackson Telegram. She was a great supporter of all things Oak Hill. She spearheaded the group which started the annual tradition of the Oak Hill Festival of Flags. She was among a group of local interested citizens who established the Welsh American Heritage Museum and Mildred was its first and only curator. She retired in, 19, in 2012 after 40 years of service as curator of the Welsh American Heritage Museum. Much of her contribution was from behind the scenes, but she was always willing to lend a hand to any venture that improved 
the life of our citizens, and the welfare of our community. And so, with community service in mind, this year's award, the Mildred Banger Community Service Award, goes to Natalie Kranitz. <gasps> committee selects one contestant who stands out among the group during our rehearsals. She listens, pays close attention to our instructions, and follows them. She accepts suggestions for improvement and works hard to put those into practice. She seems really happy to be involved and always has a smile on her face. This year's director's award goes to Michaela Lovely. Let's get a photo off. There you go. The winner of our <laughs> Now, we've been conducting our Miss Photogenic contest on our Facebook page, and we thank you for your participation. The choice must have been difficult because they're all so lovely, but there has been such a great response that we've decided to present an award to one contestant in each age group. And the winner of the Little Miss category photogenic award is Riley Hartley. <laughs> and in the Junior Miss category, the winner of Miss Photogenic is Madison Daddy. <laughs> Photogenic is Hannah Yagel. And in the Miss Festival category, the winner of the Miss Photogenic contest is Cameron McCain. So at this time, could we ask the Little Miss contestants to take the stage? And we're pleased to announce that the winner, the 2021 Little Miss Festival of Flags is contestant number three, Savannah Mayne. <laughs> Okay, I am pleased to announce 
that the 2021 Miss Festival of Flags is contestant number 13. <laughs> 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 Okay, thank you all very much for attending. Don't you have a wonderful looking forward to this year? Thank you so much. That ends our festivities for the evening. Thank you. Good night. Stay safe. Hi, I'm Michaela Lodwick, and I, this is unreal to me. I have tried five times to win this pageant, so hearing my name was just, it's unreal. This means, this means a lot to me because I tried it last year and I didn't win, and this is my first time winning this year. Hi, I'm Hannah Yeagle, and this means so much to me because I've always dreamed of this whenever I was a little girl. Hi, I'm Bailey Antonera, and this is, it's just so much to take in at one time because I have one of this since I was in like second grade and I've tried out every year that I could. What I'm gonna look forward to the most is having like little girls come up to me and like wanna get pictures with me. I think that's just gonna be amazing. The most thing that, the most thing I look up for is to be on the court. The thing I look forward to the most is hanging out with these beautiful group of girls. I so cannot wait. <laughs> The thing that I look forward to the most is getting to know these girls better and having the best time with them. This is 100% the best thing that's ever happened to me. It's the best thing it's happened to me because this is the first time I've ever won. This is for sure the best thing that's ever happened to me. This is the best thing that's happened to me because I get to be on it with a bunch of girls that I know and I like. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome.